Hi guys, uh, I'm back with another kind of uh, video with uh, new functionality in Central Finance or what we would say the new functionality in S4HANA will come to, so this video has two sections, first we'll talk about today absolutely and purely about uh, profitability analysis and then in the next session we will talk about how that profitability analysis can be used in in from central finance perspective but it is important to understand before we jump to central finance it is important that we know what has been done in S4 HANA space in uh, in profitability analysis or COPA tools so that you know it is easy for us to understand what what is going on with this for with central finance so let's start with that uh, just a quick recap again central finance uh, as usual I'm just doing the same thing again and again so central finance replicate the data from SAP or non SAP system to S4 uh, no disruption approach data is transferred via SLT and there are several new functionalities being added in in the new release uh, so you can go and check there is a video on 1809 functionality specifically on central finance uh, you can hit like, subscribe to the channel and then you can get updates on the free videos which are coming on. These videos are absolutely free. Please feel free to, you know, to, to view and, and refer those. So we'll talk about purely about uh, COPA today. Uh, and then we will come to come to how COPA is placed uh, and how that replication will happen for the different types of COPA in source system and target system. Uh, so that's the plan. So traditionally we, we if we talk about COPA, anybody if in, in traditional world we have cost-based COPA and account-based COPA. Uh, we have like in the simple terms, COPA is like profitability analysis reporting. Traditionally, customers use cost-based and account-based COPA. We'll not talk about these today. Everybody knows it. There are millions of documents and videos and material is available on internet. We'll not talk about cost-based and account-based COPA. So what we'll talk about is the new things which are added. So that new types of COPA with S4HANA is the combined COPA and the simplified COPA. Of course, we do have cost-based COPA and account-based COPA in, in, in plan, but yeah, combined COPA and simplified COPA are the new things which are part of the new new game. Right, so let's talk about uh, new COPAs. So what is combined COPA? So it can be defined as a combination of account-based COPA and the cost-based COPA. So kind of you can say best of both the words has been taken. Uh, so you technically, uh, from technical, purely from technical aspect, it's an enhancement of the costing based COPA with additional persistence uh, considering a four new table, CE9, and then there is there are some characters uh, based on the naming convention. So there are new tables being added. Um, it eliminated the shortcoming of the previous versions like account based and the cost based where reconcil uh, especially the cost based where the reconciliation with GL currency and quantities were not possible. So with, co with uh, combined COPA, you, you have that possibility and you can run combined COPA in addition to cost based on account based. I'll come to the slide where we mention in what release what COPA is available. Just just hold on for that. I know that's the first question comes into mind, you know, uh, that w I am on this release, what COPA can I use? So because things are changing pretty fast with every year the new release coming and things are changing on. So from understanding perspective, this is combined COPA where you can simply say account based plus cost based, best of both the, both the words and there is a combined COPA. So this is how it looks like. If you see on the screen, uh, generally you in the traditional word, you have costing based COPA and account based COPA, you can check mark, but now you have, you can see that is the third checkpoint added combined COPA and you can use it in conjunction with another COPA you have. And on the if you see on the right hand side you have an active flag you can activate what COPA is active so you have a so things have been changed the new COPA is now in place. Just a little talk a little bit about combined COPA modes combined COPA can be activated as a standalone or with account based or costing based or both so you can say okay I'll just use combined COPA or I'll use account based plus combined COPA or I'll use cost based plus combined COPA. And it has its own configuration menu, which may be called through transaction key EPSL. So on the right hand side, you can see there is a there is a configuration window displayed uh, where in IMG section you have combined profitability analysis and you have a whole lot of configuration which needs to be done. So it's not that simple that you simply implement it. There are a lot of business design needs to happen. There is a business case needs to be to be there. Why you need to implement this COPA? What is the future strategy? It is not just an implementation, but rather, you know, from strategic perspective, it has to be estimated and understood what is the future game plan of the organization, how you want to transform your system from ECC or S4HANA into future state. Accordingly, you can take a decision. 
So now coming to what is simplified COPA. So simplified is like, you know, the, the beautiful one, very simple. As the name says, profitability analysis in universal journal. It's a basically an enhancement of account-based COPA. It's a new form of profitability analysis, which is part of the new account-based, new product SAP S4 HANA, and is technically based on account-based COPA. So as I said, Cost-based COPA is, is basically a technically enhanced to combined COPA and account-based COPA is simplified profitability analysis. So it's no more now COPA, it says simplified profitability analysis because previously it was based on controlling module CO, controlling and PEA profitability analysis, but now it is simplified profitability analysis. So I'll not say COPA anymore now. So now here the reporting is not limited by boundaries and you have FI plus CO plus PA dimensions in universal journal or ACDOC table. So you have everything at one place in simplified COPA. In simplified profitability analysis, there is a new things which like COGS. So before S4 HANA, COGS were posted to one GL in accounting. And then the details are available in cost estimates. If you see on the, on the left hand side, you have an income statement, cost of goods sold is 1200. And the cost estimate of the breakup over 1200 is in the, available in the cost estimate. But now in the new profitability analysis, the way it will look like is like you have the COGS labor, you have COGS material, you have COGS overhead. So this has this will be posted to the GL level and you can say, okay, you run the report for GL for COGS labor, you have 400, you have COGS material 550, COGS overhead 250. So you have that visibility at the GL level now, which was not available anymore because it was previously it was just 1200. Now it, you have a breakup of 1200 at GL level. So that's what it says, profitability analysis has been refined to reflect the standard cost component split into GL account. So you have a cost component split, but it will be reflected into the GL account form. So that was, that has changed now. Treatment of production cost variance, this is again simplified. Before S4 HANA, production cost variance was posted to one GL only. And there were, if you want to see the details of the variance, it was not available. But now product cost variance like input price, quantity, scrap can be defined by account level and can be used in profitability analysis. So uh, again, coming to left hand side, uh, we have a production variance of 100. Now what is that 100 made of? So you have a price variance, you have a quantity variance, you have a scrap and you have a lot size variance. So those four components are making that 100. Now you have a breakup in account based or profitability analysis per se, uh, like you have input variance of 80, lot of lot size variance 15, and you have a scrap of five. So you, you have a breakup visible. So previously it was 100 in total. You don't know what is that 100 made of in the GL account, but now you have three GL accounts showing 80 plus 15 plus five. So you have a more detailed analysis available. If you compare the value add, uh, Simplified and costing based, so, so reconciliation is available in simplified, product cost split is available as I just mentioned, which was also available in a costing based, top down distribution is available in both of them, drill down by income statement, from income statement at characteristic level is available in the new one, not in cost based. And profitability characteristics based on balance sheet items is available in the new one, the, when I say new one it's like profitability analysis in universal general or simplified profitability analysis. It is not available in cost based. So this is just a comparison to understand what value it will give me if I implement the new simplified profitability analysis. However, it has some limitations as well. Uh, cost component split is partial. Uh, breakdown is available. Uh, is for some, for some it is there is no available like material admin and overhead cost, which is available in cost based. Sales condition can be used to calculate contribution margin level, which is not yet available in simplified COPA, but available in cost based. Realignment after changes of profitability characteristic like division, it is possible to derive historic data for new values, which is available in both. Order entry, if the sales, sales order item generates an expected revenue and you have a COGS entry, it is not available in simplified, but available in cost based. And similarly, the cost approaches, uh, we just talked about uh, cost component split, uh, partially available in simplified, fully available in cost costing based. So this is just a com current comparison of limitation. So in this screen we have uh, value adds, in this screen we have limitations of both the COPA, you know, 
at one screen says this is good, another screen says this is good, like cost is good or simplified is good, but we have to understand from business perspective or our requirement perspective what is good. Availability, costing based COPA is available in maintenance mode in all the releases. When we say all, it is like ECC 1610 and 1709 for S4 HANA. Account based COPA is available in maintenance mode in ECC, but discontinued in S4 HANA because it is being replaced by simplified profitability analysis. So you cannot say now any more account based COPA, it is like simplified profitability analysis. Combined COPA is available in all three releases. You can do in ECC also with some enhancements. However, it is there in S4 HANA in the new releases also. Simplified COPA was never available in because it was account based COPA in ECC. Uh, but uh, it is now available in S4 HANA uh, and 1610, uh, 17.09 and this is the one area where SAP is moving towards. This is being subject to sub subsequent enhancement going forward because this is where in S4 HANA this is the key win and SAP is it's a best, best SAP saying is the best practice to implement account based COPA or simplified crop profitability analysis to simplify processes and simplify the cost reporting and more enhancements will be done. So we saw some limitations in the previous slide, but those limitations may change, you know, over the period of time when the new release comes in. Path for active customers with COPA. So now some customers use cost based or account based, right? So because customers are on ECC. So for cost based, no migration approach for historical data is available and new GL account or sales condition may be required depending on the present status. However, for customers using account based migration approach is available from historic for historic data from account based COPA and the programs to read and migrate profitability segment to universal journal is available. So more simply, if you have account based COPA today, more simplified way to go into S4 HANA to you implement simplified profitability analysis. But if you have cost based COPA, it is a little bit difficult. So you have more challenges to do. You need to you need to have some good consultant to work for. So I will just quick recap and then I'll tell you what we are going to talk about in the next video. So we talk about the combined COPA. We talk about simplified profitability analysis. We talk about how, what is the roadmap going forward, which product is going to be supported, what are the changes coming in, and what are the limitations as well as the benefits of different types of COPAs. So in the next session, we'll talk about how to manage COPA in central finance. So because our, our focus is central finance, so how if a customer has cost-based COPA on the source side, how, how to manage in replication, and if a customer has account-based COPA on the source side, how to manage the replication in S4 HANA space. So stay tuned uh, for further videos. Uh, any questions, you have my email ID. Uh, drop, any, drop a quick note, subscribe the channel, and avail the benefit of the free videos which are coming in and more, more are planned in central finance space. Thank you.